Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I am here from uh, Austin, Texas, and believe it or not, we also have another lady from Texas, and that is Sandra. Yes, she nodded. Yes, that would be me. And another lady, but she's uh, way <laughs> from, uh, I'm going to say north, uh, north of Europe. She's joining us from, um, uh, I can't pronounce the name of the city, but we're going to have to say it is Ukraine. And of course, she is. Uh, her name is Slava. She's got a little bit of a long name, but uh, we're going to go with uh, Slava. And uh, again, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And we are going to talk about Dimensions. Dimensions is written by Life J. Erickson. And let me just turn this and uh, bring it closer. And that's the young lady. I mean, young young man, dashing, and uh, he has uh, many books. But today we are going to be reviewing this one. It is absolutely a uh, cool book, and we, as a uh, book selfie, we did the um, um, audio books of it, and you can also find it and purchase it on our website. So today we are going to review this book. And I have two beautiful ladies, one from Texas and the other one, I'm going to call it Kiev because she's closer to Kiev. Okay. from but She's nodding. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's fine. It's little... <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's from Ukraine. Okay. Ladies and ladies, no gentlemen, ladies, uh, we are going to start with the cover of the book. So let's start with Sandra. Sandra, what do you think of the cover? It's nice and um, colorful. Colorful. I like it. You, I couldn't really tell because I have it on my Kindle, but I've seen it on Amazon. So okay. it's very, it makes, it makes you want to read what happens. Read. And uh, does it explain what's inside of the book? Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. What, yes. <laughs> uh, what, what, what about you, Slava? What do you think of the cover? Well, I think that um, the black background of the book symbolizes the ominous forces that seek um, not only to ravage the planet of Earth, but also um, um, capture other dimensions. And like, it looks like the planet is resisting and um, doesn't want that to happen. And um, Right. The, the planet seems to be resisting as much as uh -huh. it can. That's what I can yes. see from the cover. Okay. But uh, you can also see that it's a sci-fi book, right? Yes. Right. Definitely. Yes, yes definitely. And uh, the back and everything else is black. So what you're saying is correct. And uh, But uh, you do have a point. I mean, uh, the planet is resisting. It's like the, uh, the dimensions are pulling it, and but it's the planet Earth is resisting. So... That is awesome. And uh, would you all like to add anything else on the cover? Because I have to say, <laughs> this cover is designed by Book Selfie. We designed the cover, by the way. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> OK, so let's go into the main characters. You want to start, uh, Slava? Um, right. So the main character of the book is uh, Matt Levier, if I pronounce his last name correctly. And um, apparently his sister Libby is believed to um, have met a tragic fate, um, or so he initially thinks. Mm -hmm. And um, here Matt is portrayed as a modest and caring young man who shares a deep bond with his sister and when the uh when their parents tragically die um he basically willingly sacrificed his own aspirations to protect his sister um when Matt discovers that his sister is not only alive but um she is also in danger and she needs help uh he pretty much sets aside all the concerns and he dedicates himself um, to acquire the necessary powers to reach and save her and um, that won't 
turned to be a surprise to his sister, Libby. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that's what I can uh, say about the main character. Okay, but uh, what you're saying is the character is actually explained quite well and it's a strong character. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, he like um, Because pretty much uh, his sister saw him in a different way or remembers him to be a different person. Uh -huh. But in fact, he turns out to be, as you said, a strong character. And he, uh, um, he basically, he does whatever needs to be done to save his sister. Uh -huh. What about you, Sandra? Well, considering that Matt is uh, <clears throat> young, he's young, he's well, probably in the early, early 20s, teens. Mm -hmm. he, um, he seems to be, yes, overly protective of his sister because that's the only family they have left. Mm -hmm. He feels that he is that it's up to him to take care of her. He can be a little bit emotional, impulsive sometimes, but he has all he all he, all he's thinking about is his, his sister. That he'll do whatever it takes to take care of his sister, even if it means getting powers that he maybe wasn't used to or doesn't like. His goal, his one goal, is to save his sister. So okay. that's admirable in a young character. In a young character, yes. And uh, strong character? Yes. What do you think? De so definitely. You, you... He, has, he has his values. He mm -hmm. knows what he wants. Maybe not career-wise. He put all that on, on hold because for him, family comes first. Ah, so it's a hero character. Kind of mm -hmm. like a... Uh, yes. to, to his sister because he wants to, he wants to save his sister. Correct. Okay. What about the supporting characters? Um, go ahead, Sandra. Um, the supporting characters, maybe Safira is a strong female. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't get too much of their background. But, you know, again, the focus is on men. So it's forgivable uh -huh. that maybe we don't get to hear their story, how they got to those dimensions and all that. But she is a strong character. She does, again, like Matt, she does what she needs to get done, even if the rules, like maybe they have a different society, like when they get paired with uh -huh. a main, like maybe she doesn't like it, but it's what they do. That's what she they complies. <laughs> she goes, she goes, you know, by what yeah. they tell her. But she is a strong female. I like her. Oh, okay. So, and that's, uh, supporting character and along with, I'm sure there's not one, there's more than one yeah. supporting there's, characters. Um, <laughs> if do, Am I hearing from you that uh, the supporting characters, the backgrounds are not explained quite well? Yes. Yes? Yes. Ah, okay. So, mm -hmm. well, one way or another, the author is going to watch this and mm -hmm. I'm sure he's gonna take some notes. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, I've been, uh, I don't want to say friends, or I've known the author for like 20 years. He has many, many books, and we uh, publish his books. So, yes, he will watch this, and uh, he will take notes, because uh, this is, again, this is the first jump. That's a series. It's going to be a series, uh, right? That's what I yes, thought. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, he will take notes, and I will definitely tell him that. Mm -hmm. How about you, Slava? Tell us about the uh, supporting characters. Um. <clears throat> yes, I, I agree with um, Sandra about Sapphire, and um, I probably agree with her that probably as a woman, we demand more of a um, descriptive information about the characters, like men, women, met, because I was liking uh, that as well. But um, in terms of all the supportive characters, there are like many, many of them. Um, mm -hmm. I, I can, um, uh, like the, the ones I, I, I wanted to highlight were of course, Thess, Sapphire and, um, um, his father, her father, Sir Will, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And, uh, the Knights of, um, Shyla mm -hmm. and, um, <clears throat> also like this separate set of characters are the gathering of the, um, Hollow Shadows, uh -huh. uh, who were led by the Lord 
of um, shadows. His right hand and his left hand are the twins, uh, Moxie and um, Munity. And his life partner, Hope. Um, though she is not very much uh, like represented in this book, um, I felt so much towards uh, I felt so much towards her because um, because of their relation uh, her re um, relationship with um, the Lord, the mm -hmm. way he treated her, um, and the way she behaved. Um, so basically, that's what I okay. felt um, about right. And um, also, there is a supreme administrator of the syndicate. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, th there is also um, a horseman, basically the monster who invented a, vep a weapon called uh -huh. Alt Requiem. Requiem, yes. Yeah, yes. There, yeah. There are also less represented um, characters in this book, but. Um, I would agree with um, Sandra that Sapphire and to me Hope um, are the women that basically touched our, our hearts, I guess. Uh, okay, so uh, on the second series, uh, he better do a better uh, description of the uh, characters because ladies, uh, obviously ladies, <laughs> <laughs> they want that. <laughs> a little bit about their backstory. Backstory, yes. So we can care what happens to them. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, actually, the wife of the um, supreme guy, uh, she is a she is the daughter of a governor or something, something like that, right? <laughs> I read. I kind of read the book. I can't read all of them, so. I, yeah, I think she's from Earth, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, great! Well, he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, for not treating her in proper way. Yes, he is in trouble. <laughs> okay, so um, the supporting characters, the main characters, and uh, Sandra, would you like to talk about the hook for me? The hook. The hook for me was uh, the interdimensional aspect. Uh huh. How they're multiple dimensions, multiple parallel universes uh -huh. that maybe that like when when Libby died, the, the person who was supposed to be Libby, she was a little bit different, but not quite her because she mm -hmm. it, they, they put in a different Libby and the whole concept of jumping, jumping universes, jumping dimensions. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I was involved with the book a little bit uh, when uh, we were doing the uh, audiobooks. I think that's pretty cool. Jumping mm -hmm. from one dimension to another, it's all parallel dimensions. Yeah. How about you, Slava? Give us the hook. So um, I feel the same way. Uh, Libby, who uh, uh, basically who, who we meet at the beginning of the book and in the end of the book, and um, like everything is turning around her, but we don't know why she was captured, exactly. what is the secret behind her. Mm -hmm. And then as the book comes to end, we have more questions that we, uh, than we had at the beginning of the book. <laughs> so I think that Libby is really the hook here and uh, uh -huh. the one who carries some, some secret that we don't know yet. Oh, that's the hook, yes. Uh, you know, again, when uh, I was listening to the audiobooks, I was so mad my favorite character died. Mm. Sir Will. Sir Will. Ah, that's amazing. Well, you gave it away. I'm going to have to cut this off. You know? <laughs> Spoiler alert. But unfortunately, uh, this is live. Everybody's watching. So, <laughs> Okay, so that is the hook. And uh, I'm glad you guys uh, agree on the same hook. And uh, what well, last question? Uh, I want you people, to, ladies, to rate the book out of five stars. Go ahead, Slava. Um, I would rate this four point five out of five because, as I mentioned, um, 
I was lacking some sort of uh, description of the characters, mm -hmm. uh, their background, the way they look, the way, um, yeah, the way they look. And um, though, like, there were um, many conversations uh, throughout the book, it was um, really great for like uh, great to read and easy to read, and it was reader friendly. Um, mm -hmm. I was lacking um, some, yeah, so, so, some more of description. I know uh, it's probably because um, men are interaction. You know, the, there is a lot of action going on, but uh, women are into um, a little bit of something else. <laughs> <laughs> well. The uh, life, I'm going to have to speak with him. Uh, he's <laughs> going to have to put the ladies into action, right? <laughs> what about you, Sandra? Um, Out of five stars. Uh, I would go with four. Four? Okay. Four. The main reason being that um, Libby is the main character. I mean, maybe her everything centers around her. Okay. But why? Even if I would have gotten a little taste of her story, Backstory, why she's so important. Why do I want to keep reading the series? Why am I going to care what happens to her? You know what I'm saying? That, that's you want a little hint, yes. A little hint. Uh. And then the abrupt ending that he gave us, which I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yes. I, I would have been more comfortable knowing why she's so important. Yes. Just a tiny, teeny bit of a, oh, okay. Well, yes, there's a lot of action. You know, the, uh -huh. especially my big point was the the teleporting. You know, they yeah. they, they disappear, they they appear out of nowhere. You know, that was pretty cool too. But uh -huh. I was left wanting more about Libby to know Maybe. more about okay. her. Maybe on in the second series, hopefully, I mean, second book. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Or would you like to, ladies, add anything else to the book? Um, yes, I wrote yes. myself a, um, a short sentence, which okay. I believe um, means a lot. And um, the sentence is, there is no greater tragedy than a long life not lived. Um, I liked it so much. And I thought about this um, sentence a lot. Okay. And um, I think it, may, it makes us thinking about our everyday life, what we do in our life, um, how much more action we need to perform. Um, I don't know, again, read interesting books, um, travel, do something interesting with our kids, but uh, live our life. Uh-huh, okay. So yes. that's your take actually from this book. Yes, it is. Yeah, how about you, Sandra? Would you like to add anything? Yes, I am always on the lookout for quotes that make an impression on me. Uh -huh. And um, I like when uh, it mentions the man who controls the world once only for the peace and quiet he can never have. Yeah, I like that. You know, the higher up, you know, pow the powerful people, yes. they wish that sometimes they wish they weren't because, you know, yes. they're always looking behind their back or wondering what's going to happen. So, the power that the rich and famous and powerful have is the, is the one that um with with bunch of headaches yes yes yeah. and uh it's funny and the people uh the common people they always think that uh, those uh the presidents or whatever uh, they have it they easy use, you know? <laughs> yeah they, they just sit in their office and make decisions and they're all comfortable but it's not so you know mm -hmm. no bigger you are worse headaches you got exactly yes okay awesome i want to thank you two ladies and uh, i would like you to stay online i'm gonna end the show and uh because uh, i'm gonna take a picture of us okay uh okay. hold on for a second <laughs>